My name is Tim Adams and I'm with Engineered Corrosion Solutions and before we can put our nitrogen generator in service we are going to be we need to verify the, the purity and the pressure settings inside of a cabinet to, to verify it works with our fire sprinkler system correctly. The first thing we're going to do is come over and make sure our nitrogen generator is isolated from the feed pressure and the fire sprinkler system. We're going to turn the cabinet on and you're going to see the cabinet energize and the Ventix controller light up red. Now, in this instance, our air maintenance device setting is set at 30 uh, pounds. We want the generator to turn on five pounds below the air maintenance device setting and 30 to 40 pounds, we want to turn off 30 to 40 pounds above the air maintenance device setting. So how we do that is we come in here in the Ventix, hold the right button down, We're going to go to SP1, hit the middle button, lower that to 70 PSI. Hit the middle button to accept it, and then scroll until you find the RP1, which is a turn off pressure. Hit the middle button and turn that down to 25 pounds. And hit the middle button again to accept it. Now we want to open the inlet and this will allow pressure from our air compressor to flow in and start producing nitrogen. Okay. Now to actually check our purity we're going to open the uh, ball valve behind our flow meter to allow the nitrogen generator to kick on and start flowing nitrogen. Okay. First thing we want to do is verify the feed pressure is between 130 and 150 pounds. Next we want to check the purity with our handheld analyzer. And how we do that is we unscrew from the hose, power it on, and hold down the triangle button to calibrate it. It reads CAL, and after a few seconds, it will read. It should read 79.1. Screw back on the hose. Take the end of it and plug it into the quick connect located next to the flow meter. After a few seconds, you'll see the purity begin to rise and give it about one minute to level off. So our purity is reading 95.6, 95.7, so we're a little low. So in order to adjust the nitrogen purity, we come to the control valve and we're going to turn it clockwise, about a quarter of a turn. And give, again, give it about one minute to level off. And you want to repeat these steps until the handheld analyzer reads at least 98% purity. After the handheld has reached 98% purity, disconnect it from the quick connect and we are done with the handheld analyzer. We want to verify the flow, the flow of nitrogen is at least at 130 standard cubic feet per hour. So for the PGM30, it should be at a minimum of 130 standard cubic feet per hour. We want to take the reading from the center of the ball. After you verify that, you can close the flow meter. The generator will shut off. And to put it in service, all you have to simply do is open the outlet valve. If you have any questions, you can contact us at 314-432-1377 or visit our website at ecscorrosion.com.